Christy. How are you today? Okay. It's nice to see you. Nice to see you again. Good to have you back. I'm glad you came back in for a second time. Oh, yeah. So what brings you in today? I know um, last time you spoke, we were discussing a few things. So do you want to tell me what all you've been up to since our last visit? Well, I guess I've still been trying to look for jobs. I've been doing a couple of job applications here and there. Um, what have you been applying to? Um, I applied at this little food market that's not too far from my house. Well, from my friend's house that I'm staying near. Okay. So, and how do you think that went? Um, they told me that they'll give me a call back if um, my application would be good and I had some qualifications for the job. Okay. Then they would give me a call back. So, I'm still waiting to hear back from them. Okay. Well, hopefully you get a call back and I wish you luck. Yeah. And what else? So, you had the job interview since then and what else has been new? Um been trying to stay out of trouble because you know I'm trying to get my daughter back mm -hmm. so um I just pretty much just been trying to stay in the house and look for a couple of jobs and stuff you know stay off the streets and you know because I really want to you know better myself okay now since we spoke last last do you think that you have um accomplished anything to move forward in trying to get your daughter back like has there been I know job interview that was one step towards yeah. getting your daughter back has there been anything else that you've done or um written down that you want to do to try to make that um next step towards getting your daughter back i think after getting me a job i would like to pay for like schooling you know send a couple classes because i know pay for school. yeah these little dead-end jobs it's not going to do you know too much to raise me and my daughter if i plan on doing it by myself so I know that I was going to have to start looking into things like that. I haven't started yet, but I have been thinking about it. Okay. So I think, you know, I've just been changing my mindset a little lately. So that's one thing that, um, you know, I feel like I'm really fed on myself at, as, you know, trying to be a better parent. Um, you know, I think I just pretty much, you know, I'm just trying to stay in. That was more of my problem, hanging out with my friends, going to party all the time. You know, okay. like I previous told you, something I'm not happy about, you know, that was arrested for prostitution a couple times yes and things like that so you know i'm just trying to you know just stay away from that type of stuff you know okay. get myself back on the right track okay so you have now realized that um to remove yourself from certain situations and around certain people yeah and, okay i definitely realized that that's what i have to do to get my daughter back and i also just to get her back but it'll be a better environment for her which is good yeah, okay. you know, so I'm not just thinking about just being selfish about myself. I'm starting to think about her. Okay. Well, I'm glad to hear that you're in that mindset and thank you. Serious about taking the next step to getting your daughter back. Um, I know since the last time we spoke, I told you that I was gonna reach out to some of my networks to find additional help to help you move forward to getting your daughter back. Um, I reached out to a law firm, a law firm that deals with. Um, single mothers that's trying to get um, their parenting rights back. So I have his information and also I have information from uh, Housing Majority. So I know you said that you were trying to find an apartment and I know we both um, agreed last session that you know yeah. we want to get a apartment first. So yeah. you know once yeah. we start to move forward that yeah. you have a safe environment for your daughter to live in. So I also have a Housing Authority contact that you can reach out to okay. um i did want to let you know that with the housing authority with this agency that i know or that i worked with in the past um they are somewhat strict okay. um they do want to see you know improvement with that individual whoever you know goes through their program okay. so they will be you know monitoring you know company or monitoring you know once you get on your feet and get employment it will be start monitoring that okay. so just I just like to tell my clients that ahead of time okay. so that they know before contacting the agency so just they so, just so that they don't get you know bombarded or anything once they go okay so I ask a question sure so when they say um looking to see if you improve yourself like what do you exactly mean like do you think they do like drug um, testings or is it well they don't do drug testing okay they don't do drug testing um but they do do monthly check so they want to you know check in um and see you know if you don't have a job yet they want to mm -hmm. see if you're looking for a job like health visits or 
Um, sometimes it may be a house visit, but sometimes maybe you taking a trip to the office. Okay. Um, if you don't have that transportation, then um, they can do like a phone call, you know, check okay. in. So they just want to be sure because it is like something that's temporary, it's something to get you and your daughter on your feet. Sorry. It's not something that's going to be permanent. So they want to just make sure that the client and their child or children okay. is going to um, eventually, you know, move on and okay. be on their own and be able to make a living for themselves. Okay. Yeah. So if you feel comfortable with that, um, but like I said, I've worked with them in the past. They're very good. I know a few people that actually um, with, went through that agency, so I can give you that information. Okay. And then also um, <coughs> counseling. I have um, some contact information for counseling. So once you do get your daughter back, I know it may be a big adjustment for both you okay. and your daughter. Okay. So if you wanted to consider you know, family counseling, mm -hmm. I can give you that information too. Um, I know both of you and I speak. Know, that's kind of like our counseling moment but right. um this particular person is great with families because okay. they tend towards adults and kids as okay. well so that's why i'm giving you that information okay. so do you have any questions so far um no um everything sounds good so far i just you know just want to know like how quick you know i can get my daughter back you know okay. that's probably really my biggest worry but i guess we have to take small steps until we get there, but you know, I'm just sometimes really impatient, and you know, I want things to go my way, like you know, I yeah, do, yeah. So, you know, I'm just so tired of dealing with the system, like it's just really frustrating. And I think stuff like that is what makes me want to, you know, go out and party sometimes. Just people give me such a hard time, you know. Mm -hmm. I'm just trying to, you know, stay calm and be patient. And I just really want my daughter back. I totally understand. It does take time. It does because you know we if we rush and do certain things and it may not play out like we want it to play out. Mm -hmm. So if we take our time, take the steps um, to get us there, then you know you'll be good and comfortable for both you and your daughter to, to live and um, that's good. We can just go from there. Now tell me, as far as like how are you, you know, feeling about all of this? Like you know, I know you say you have been had much of a job like how, how are you feeling with you know now getting back into going back to work like how do you feel about that do you think that you're going to be okay or um i think i'm ready because um i'm tired of sitting around and being in the house and depending on other people you know my friends is probably tired of me living at their houses and stuff so you know i'm just as old as they are so okay i think it's time for me to have my own just like they do I think I feel pretty confident about it because, you know, I'm ready to, I want to be the adult, you know, and be the mother that I'm supposed to be. Right. So, I think I'm pretty much confident and ready to go, you know. I'm ready to get this show on the road because, you know, the quicker I can get her back, you know, the quicker we can start on our relationship again and, you know, the quicker I can have my family back. Okay. Now, have you, I know before you said you haven't had any contact with your daughter or like whatsoever. So, like, have you made an effort to reach out to her since then, or have you written letters um, or anything, or reached out to the family that has her? Um, honestly, I tried to call the agency that came and took her, because I don't know where she is or what family she is with. Like, mm -hmm. no one is giving me information, mm -hmm. because I guess of my heavy drug use, but, you oh, know. Wow. Okay. So, um, I didn't know that last session. So, you know, okay, so she's with the agency. And you don't know what she is. Yeah, I okay. mean, I know what agency that came and got her. I just don't okay. know what family or house that she's okay. based in. Like, they don't want me to have any type of contact with her as okay. of right now because they don't think you know my behavior right now is appropriate for a five-year-old. Okay. So. Okay. Now, do you know the name of the of the agency? Is it DCFS or is it a different agency? Um, it was DCF who came to my house. But it went through this agency called Help the Children. Help the Children. Okay. Yes. Okay, so then I guess that will be another thing that I can look into as far as contacting that agency to see what their protocols are. Yeah, because they won't let me as... talk to her. They won't let me see her. Right. And I understand that I mess up sometimes. Like, we're humans. Like, that's what happens. But 
I just don't see why there's no reason why I can't get in contact with her at all. Like, I exactly. made her. Like, she's my child. Like, exactly. She belongs to me. That's mm-hmm. just how I feel. And, like, I can at least get a phone call once a day. I'll make sure I'm sober when I talk to her. Mm-hmm. I'll make sure, you know, I'm trying to do better. So I'll make sure I'm sober. I'm in a quiet area where there's no distractions or any bad things around that she can hear. You know, because I want her out of that environment also, too, now. Like, I'm finally starting to see things. I just, you know, just want to at least talk to her so she still don't know, at least know that she still know who I am. Okay. Because this has been almost a year now. Okay. So. Okay. Not since well, I talked to her, but since they took her from me. They took her. Okay. Yeah. Which was the last time that you haven't had any contact for like. Um, the, and the last contact had to be at least three months. Now. Okay. Okay. Three months. Okay. Yes. And then, what was your contact then? Was it through phone, mail, yes, letters? Yes, it's only been through phone. I haven't seen phone. her in public in person since okay. they took her from me but I have been talking to her like once every two weeks to start off like once every two weeks then it just slowed down I guess my behaviors and I was constantly fighting and arguing with the you know the agency okay because they didn't approve of my behavior and I just don't like to be judged and I just can't stand people who judge me okay so I always just had conflicts with them and it just never worked out like and I just still don't think it's a part of the law like just because you feel some way about me that you keep it for my child okay. that all makes sense. I just okay. don't know how that stuff work out so I would like for someone to give me some information on that because I just don't know what to do okay okay but yeah I totally understand and I I am so behind you know fighting for parents rights if they're showing improvement I do you know believe that they should have their child back if they're you know, trying to improve themselves and showing that improvement and then, like I said, I can reach out to the agency to see what their procedures and protocols calls are okay. as far as what all we need to provide, what all we need to show in order to start to allow you to have the bidding rights. Okay. And then also, um, with the lawyer with us starting to go back to court when we do try to fight for your um, parental rights, we also can address that as well as far as getting you the bidding rights with your daughter and the lawyer can add that to... Um, Most definitely be can be another issue that we can address. Okay. Okay. So. I need a lot of help. Yeah. So I mean, as long as you're comfortable, and I, I say, um, I know one way that you can help parents that's trying to get their child back is that even if you know you don't have contact with the child, you can maybe write. I don't know. You like to write. You can like write letters, um, just to get it. You know, get it all out or whatever. Okay. Or you know, if you did with your daughter, what would you like to say to her so you can you know maybe write since you can't talk to her right now and then eventually when you do see her you can you know re, you know that can be you guys finding time or you guys starting to develop their relationship okay, that sounds like so that. I know that's another type of therapy that parents can go through as well okay so yeah so most definitely so we can um <coughs> Okay, so yeah, so then we can um, schedule your next appointment. Okay. Um, I don't know if you want to come back within another week or you want to do two weeks to give me time to contact the agency. Um, it's totally all for your time and your schedule. Um, are you sending me home with anything today to do besides just waiting? Um, I would like for you to, if you don't mind, I would like for you to um, maybe start like a letter um, like you know if you could mail that letter to if that's the only form of contact you know between you and your daughter okay. um, write a letter and you know just say what you would say as if you were sending that letter to her okay okay so you no know, um, I know you said she was one but I'm pretty sure you know once they get the letter whoever her caregiver is or something can uh, or someone can read the letter to her so she can know that you know thinking of her and things like that so if you don't mind working on that um and then just you know doing exactly what you're doing um looking for jobs you know staying away from the other influences and yeah so i feel feel like you're doing a good job so we can schedule your next appointment and um go from there great thank you okay yeah sounds good that's good okay well it was nice seeing you Okay. Oh, we gone, Judy.